We're happy to be able to uh, recognize the service of two of our outgoing commissioners, Diane Honeycutt and Blake Kiger. They have made tremendous contributions to Cabarrus County, and we want to celebrate that, but we're also not happy to see them leaving the Board of Commissioners. And I can certainly say that on a very personal note. Uh, both of these individuals have made tremendous contributions to our board and to our county. Uh, it's the, the many, many hours that, that they spend on projects behind the scene that the public never knows about, never hears about, the countless number of hours that they spend on the telephone talking to constituents, and then the thousands of hours that they spend on the telephone talking to me. Even, and, and they act like they, they're okay with it, you know. And so I really appreciate them doing that. But uh, it has been an honor to serve with Diane for, for eight years. Uh, she came to be a county commissioner at a time that she was really needed. And, and she has made a tremendous positive impact on our county that will, will long, long outlast her, her years of service on the Board of Commissioners. Same thing with Blake. Uh, we were very disappointed when, when Grace Minot decided to uh, resign her position on the board. Uh, Blake stepped up, uh, applied for the position, uh, and has served uh, admirably since that time. Uh, they have all gone through, in addition to being appointed, Blake has gone through several campaigns, as has Diane. And for those of you in the audience that have been involved in political campaigns before, they're not always the most fun in the world. Uh, sometimes they are. Yeah, it's, it's a great opportunity to really interact with a lot of really nice folks and have a good time. But then there's, there's the other side of it that's, that's not so much fun as well. But they have persevered through all that uh, and continued to serve Cabarrus County admirably. I think that if I were to talk about uh, the most important attributes of either of them, uh, Honesty and integrity are, are the two pieces, and that's something that never have to question, never have to think about. It's always there, doing the right thing, not because of any personal agenda at all or, or anything that, that, that they're trying to do, but always trying to make a decision about what's best for, for everyone. And, and that is a, a rare commodity uh, among a lot of elected boards. So we have been extremely fortunate uh, to have the two of them serving in that capacity with that level of integrity for the years that they have served. Uh, we have uh, put together a little something here. I've been telling, I told Blake that, it, that this was a roast, uh, and then I told him that we had put together a blooper reel uh, but, uh, but we're going to let them roll that video, and we'll just have to figure out what it is. I will faithfully discharge the duties of my office as Cabarrus County Commissioner. Of my office as Cabarrus County Commissioner. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Diane has been somebody that's been very active in our community for many, many years. I've heard her say a uh, number of times, there is no way that I will ever run for public office. And so it has been enjoyable to see the enthusiasm that she has brought to the office once that she really saw a need and agreed to step up and serve as one of our county commissioners. Uh, she has brought tremendous knowledge and resources to the table. I wish that you could have seen how organized this woman is and how determined she is. And when she makes a commitment, you can rest assured she's going to fulfill that commitment. We have to obviously buy land for schools, buy land for this and for that and whatever. And uh, Diane's knowledge of real estate added so much to our decisions 
she brings a good sense of what the business community needs, even you know, small business, big business. She has that sense because she's all involved with all those organizations, including the chamber. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of my office as Cabarrus County Commissioner. Of my office of Cabarrus County Commissioner. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you very well. much. Blake has been extremely valuable uh, on our board, and he came to us at a time when, um, when he, he was appointed to replace a board member that resigned. Fortunately, he was willing to step up at that time, and it was the right person at the right time, and has, has done a tremendous job on our board. He involved himself, he was engaged, and he brought the uh, construction piece, which is something that we didn't have. I like Blake a lot. I think he brings a good sense of, he's in the construction industry, so that building experience has really been helpful with some of our capital projects. He's very much an outdoorsman. I think his favorite thing is playing golf, and he's played some really nice courses. I don't know how good a golfer he is, but he thinks he's pretty good. Construction has been a big part of what we've talked about over the, the eight years that, uh, that or so that these commissioners have served. We've got a lot of capital projects. <laughs> All going on at one time and some, sometimes. When I start thinking about the, the building projects that we're involved in, it's kind of a long list. And, and certainly our, our EMS headquarters that's currently under construction. EMS headquarters is essentially in a small house for people that don't know that. EMS is a very vital part of any county. Putting the EMS out there where it's going uh, it's going to be great, and Blake and Diane were very instrumental in helping us do that. Certainly one of the most visible projects is the courthouse construction. We've outgrown that space. People will be coming to Cabarrus County to look at our courthouse because it was well thought out. We were able to, to acquire and reuse a property for our uh, infrastructure and asset management group right next door. Uh, we are able to begin construction on our emergency equipment warehouse and our uh, IT facility. The most recent success that I think is probably one of the best we've ever done was the Eli Lilly project. I am pleased to announce that Eli Lilly will build a major manufacturing facility in Cabarrus County in Concord. We built West Cabarrus High School, we built Roberta Road Middle School and several elementary schools. We built the parking garage over there. We did the Rob Wallace Park. We secured the land down on St. Stephen's Church Road for another park. And Diane and Blake in particular have been very supportive of all of these issues. We have to build a new facility at Franklis Park after we lost our barn that so many people in our community love. You know, the barn is about finished. It opened it up in May also. So May's gonna be a big month in Cabarrus County with all of these projects that were long overdue. Blake and Diane, it is, it is a bittersweet moment uh, to say goodbye to your term of service on the Board of Commissioners. Well, Diane, it's been such a privilege of mine to be able to not only get to know you, but to work with you on a professional level. And you, you absolutely have been one of the strongest leaders, if not the strongest leader that I've ever met. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for all that you have done. Blake, Diane, it's been an awesome time serving with you. I really appreciate all the help you've given me and the guidance. I've learned quite a bit from you, and I wish you both the very best in your next endeavor. Enjoy a little bit of time off, but I'll see you in the community. Well, Blake, you're about to wind it down, buddy. And I just want you to know that I have enjoyed working with you over the last 10, 11 years. And you know, not only have you been a, uh, a teammate, but you've been a friend. But I wish you all the best, Blake. Thank you. I know that there are, are good things to come for, 
for our community from both of you and you will continue to serve in other ways. And so I say thank you from the bottom of my heart uh, for what you have meant to my experience and what you have done for all the people of Cabarrus County. Well, that wasn't exactly a blooper reel, was it, Blake? Uh, but at this time, I would like to invite Blake to the podium to, to share a few words with all of you. Well, I, when Steve told me that he had a blooper reel, I immediately started thinking of all the goofy things I'd said on television for the last six years and thought, oh my word, we got to re relive that. That's going to be terrible. So, um, but thank you very much uh, for, for putting that together. And it, it's been a very special part of my life to be able to serve. Um, it, it's, it's just been an honor of a lifetime. And to look around this room and see so many friendly faces of people that I admire and respect, uh, it just means a lot that you would take time out of your schedule to stop and come in, in here with us. Thank you to, to my family that, that came. Uh, and so I was surprised with a couple of visitors. My daughter and son-in-law came from Columbia and did not tell me they were coming. So that, that, that's been a big treat. So. Uh, we have had a lot of success as a board. We, we've certainly had plenty of construction projects over the last couple of years, and it's, it's, it's been fun for me to be a part of. I uh, will mention briefly when we were going through the process of picking the architect for the courthouse across the street, that, I, I, just, I couldn't wait to do the interviews. I couldn't wait to read the material. It's just that's the kind of thing that I really enjoyed, and to be able to do that uh, on behalf of the county and before the citizens of Cabarrus County, it was just a real honor and a real treat. So thank you very much for, for letting me perform this job. I will, I will miss you all. I will, I, I will miss being here. And, and the last thing I'll say, Lynn, you, we, have, we have become friends over a long period of time. It's, it's hard for me to uh, grasp that he and I, for 10 years of our lives, have spent two, week, two, two nights a month in meetings for 10 years. So he, I've seen him as much as I've seen Nancy over the last 10 years, I think. So it's, it's been a real treat and a real honor to serve with you all. Thank you. Now, for those of you that know Diane, you know that she is very shy and retiring. So, but, and she probably doesn't want to say anything, but we're going to encourage her to come to the microphone as well. <laughs> Try to set you up. Thank right, you. Yeah. Well, those of you who know me very well know that I can't say hello in 30 words or less. So maybe I won't be quite as succinct as Blake, but uh, you know, I knew this time would come, and uh, now that it's here, I just want to thank each of you for being here this evening uh, to join me and help me just take time to enjoy the moment and create another memory with each of you to carry through the years. Um, thank you for being here. I really do appreciate it. You know, it's hard to believe, and I made a few notes because I don't want to go off topic and get myself in trouble. So uh, it's hard to believe that I'm completing eight years and my final year as county commissioner. And as Steve said, I'm the person over the years who said, not no, but hell no, I would never run for political office back in the days of leadership Cabarrus when they were encouraging you to do so. Uh, the nonprofit world prior to 2014 was my cup of tea. I enjoyed giving back to the community and seeing the recipients receive services that had an impact on their lives. But then changes come. And uh, when the 2008 to 2012, uh, whatever you want to call that, depression um, came through, I watched a lot of my clients losing their homes because they couldn't find jobs. And I saw the commissioners turning down opportunities in the Cabarrus Business Journal saying that we were closed for business. And when you know that the EDC, and Paige is here tonight, thank you for what you do. 
uh, when, when the EDC's one job is to create paying, good paying jobs for our citizens, it's kind of hard to sit by and just watch that happen. And so that was the change uh, that caused me to uh, step in and run for office. And what it taught me was never say never. So that's the best piece of advice I can probably give you tonight. And, uh, you know, deciding not to run for a third term was a very hard decision, but I believe at the time that it was the right thing for me and my family. And as I look around this room this evening, there are each one of you I could go through and thank you and tell you how much I appreciate the specific things that you've done for me, but that list would be too long to get through. Uh, but it truly has been an honor to work with you guys over the years and have a chance to move this forward, uh, county forward together. Um, I want to thank all the citizens who gave me the opportunity to serve as a commissioner, put their trust in me, and then gave me two terms at that. It has been a true honor and blessing to have the opportunity to represent each of you in this great county. You know, the one thing that you know for sure when you run for political office is people are not going to agree with every decision you make. And you know that. Um, what I hope people understand and what I know is that I can honestly say that my goal was always to look at all sides of the issue and do my research and make the decision that I thought was best for the entire county and can take satisfaction in knowing that I did the best I could at the job at the time. I can honestly say that has not always been easy. There have been a few votes that I had to make that weren't necessarily my preference. But when you looked at the issues and you looked at all sides of it, I felt like what was best for the county, even though it wasn't my personal preference, you know, that's what you do if you're doing it for the right reasons. It's been an honor and a blessing to have the opportunity to make those decisions that will help shape this county future for years to come. I also want to thank those of you who've shared words of encouragement over the years. Those are always uh, very much appreciated, but also we're not afraid to come up, or most people aren't afraid to tell you what's wrong, but, but uh, to share that because it helps as an elected official to understand where people are coming from and what the concerns are. Um, I also want to thank my fellow commissioners. Um, Barbara, I've not had the opportunity to serve with you as long, but for these guys, I, I would have said it was seven years with you, Blake, not six. Uh, but over the eight years, we have really come to know each other, respect each other. And in this political environment, that says a lot um, about what's going on. And I feel like we have certainly served this community with integrity and honesty and trying to do the right thing for the right reasons. And I will always remember that with pride and appreciation for the opportunities that we had to do that. Um, Steve, are you scared? Yes. <laughs> Steve has served as our chairman for eight years, and I'm going to tell you guys, and most of you in this room probably know it, but this man has done this job as though it is a full-time job, plus a lot of overtime. Um, and he has certainly made such a positive impact with his leadership uh, in keeping this county on track and moving it forward in a positive way. Um, the difference that you've made in the spirit of collaboration and cooperation has been phenomenal. And he is a well-respected leader, not just in this county, but across the region and the state. And that's why people come to him in a time uh, of need with a current issue or a future issue, because they know in Steve they have found a respected leader who will handle the situation with professionalism and look for the win-win in the situation which I think says a lot about somebody. Yeah, I think that's good. So thank you for what you've done. And last uh, but not least, and I know not many of them are here. This, I probably should have stood up and said this and the other, but I wanna, I wanna thank the staff of this county. Um, we are so truly blessed with an incredible staff, and I think it's fair to say that the staff of the county, as your frontline service people, very often receive the brunt of the criticism and frustration that people feel when they're upset about something, whether it's a zoning issue, a new ordinance, tax issues, revals, David, thank you, no, just kidding, um, revals, and you know, they're the ones who get the calls and who have to try to explain it and help people understand why it is what it is. And I'm not sure we tell our staff enough just how incredible they are at the service they provide the citizens of this county. They are dedicated to being the best they can be. 
They're knowledgeable and experienced and committed to professional service in making this county the best it can be. What a positive difference you guys make every day. Thank you does not begin to sufficiently say just how awesome you truly are. Um, I think it's fair to say that there's no higher calling in terms of a career than public service, which is a chance to make a difference in people's lives and improve the world and this county, of course. So thank you for what you've done. And Steve mentioned earlier that this is Mike's, he's in the back, back there. Today is actually Mike's 37th anniversary with the county. Yes. And I would challenge you to find another governmental leader who has been in the same county for 37 years. Just think about that. Think about all the personalities of the commissioners that have come and gone and, you know, what life must be like to walk in your shoes, Mike. <laughs> Just know that you are truly appreciated and we value you for the positive impact you've made on this county with your professionalism, dedication, and most of all, your integrity. So thank you for that. In closing, I'm just gonna say I'm humbled and honored to again to see each of you here this evening to celebrate the conclusion of mine and Blake's service to this county as commissioners. You know, I knew from my nonprofit work early on that while it enriched the lives of the recipients, that had also in many ways enriched my life. But what I didn't expect, and what I discovered again, that while public service improves the lives of citizens, its greatest reward is the enrichment and the new meaning that it brought to my life. That is something I will always treasure for many years to come. And I'm gonna leave you with one last quote, which I see as a plea for civility, kindness, and respect to others goes like this, that's when America soars, when we look out for one another and we take care of each other, when we root for one another's success, when we strive to do better and to be better than the generation that came before us and try to build something better for generations to come. That's why we do what we do. That's the whole point of public service. And that's exactly what each of you who are staff members of this county do each and every day and I thank you for supporting me and my efforts to serve this county and for your many years of service making this county an awesome place to live, work, play, and raise a family. So, simply said, I just want to end by saying thank you for your support over the last eight years, and it has truly been an honor and a blessing to serve this county. Thank you. Diane, there's just one thing that you, you failed to say. <clears throat> when you talked about making a decision to run for public office, the, the one thing you left off was it was the best decision you ever made. And that certainly was for us, and <laughs> I think it was for you. But I, it, thank you so much for all those kind words about, uh, about the staff here and, and certainly me personally. And uh, that, that's very much appreciated. And at this time, I would like to invite anybody in the audience that has anything they'd like to say to Blake and Diane uh, to come forward, if, they're, if you would like. Okay, and not <clears throat> that, that <clears throat> fire truck's not for y'all. Um, so, hearing nobody, we have some delicious refreshments uh, behind us here. I encourage everybody to enjoy those and have an opportunity to speak directly to, to Blake and Diane. Thank you. Appreciate you all being here. <laughs>